And she says, is it compulsory that the Quran surahs have to be recited in order during Salat? We know that the Quran is compiled of 114 chapters, or what we call surah. And these chapters are in order, beginning from chapter 1, Surah Al-Fatiha, ending with, surah, with uh, chapter 114, Surah Al-Nas. Now the question is, can we replace the order during Salat, meaning in the first rak'ah, I'd recite Surah 50, and in the second rak'ah, I recite Surah 49 or 30 or whatever, something that is before it. This is an issue of dispute among scholars. And this is known as a tenkis, meaning something that is upright and you turn it up, uh, uh, upside down. This is called tenkis, or to go backwards. And the most authentic opinion is that tenkis in a particular word is prohibited and can be counted as an act of blasphemy, of kufr. So, rab, you reverse it and say bar. The meaning is different, and there's nothing to call for that except to mock and ridicule the verses of Allah. There is a different difference in, in the ayah itself, tankis in the same ayah. So, instead of saying rab nas, you say an nas rab. You have tankis in different verses. So verse number three before verse number two. So you reverse it. And also this is prohibited. This is mocking with Allah's words and verses that were revealed as taught to us by the Prophet. When it comes to surahs, it's an issue of dispute. And the most authentic opinion is that it is not tawqifiyya. It was not instructed to us by the Prophet ﷺ to put Surah Al-Fatiha, then Al-Baqarah, then Al-Imran, then Al-Nisa, then Al-Ma'idah, then Al-An'am, etc. This was not directed to us by the Prophet ﷺ. And this was the doing of the companions, and they thought that, oh, this one is appropriate to be put after this one. And the evidence, and the clear evidence is the hadith of uh, Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, may Allah be pleased with the man with his father, when he prayed and offered night prayer once with the Prophet ﷺ. So the Prophet recited in the first rak'ah, Surah Al-Baqarah, then Surah Al-Nisa, then Surah Ali Imran. And we know that it is in order, number two, Baqarah, number three, Ali Imran, number th uh, uh, four, you get Surah Al-Nisa. So this indicates that if it were to be an instruction from the Prophet ﷺ, it would have been written like that in the Quran, but it wasn't. So it is the doing of the Sahaba. And likewise, the Prophet ﷺ himself sometimes recited in the first rak'ah with Surah Wal-Layli uh, Ida uh, Yagsha, and in the second rak'ah, Wa Shamsi Wa Duhaha. And the order is different in the Quran, and there are so many uh, answers to that, and Allah knows best. Rishika, 